Hello my loves, it's so good to see you again. Chantal Hai, Candace Dating Coach, here to teach you some relationship tools that are gonna help you get what you want from the people that you love. Ladies, I am talking to you as usual, and tonight's topic is how to get the yeses that you want from the man that you love. How can you get your man to be agreeable and come on your side on the issues that really matter to you. Now, as usual, Kim, good to see you. As usual, this is about the long game. I am not about those, those super quick and easy solutions because they just don't work. When it comes to the male mind, you really have to be a long-term thinker, especially with a good man, because good men really are long-term thinkers. It's how their brain works. And if you want to get what you want from men, you have to think like them. And when we use our female brain and our female emotions and, and try to use that to get what we want from men, it doesn't compute. But when you start using the tools that I give you, it triggers their brain because they understand it. And when you do that, you, this is when you really start getting the results that you're looking for. So really what we're talking about is how do you get your man to really want to give you the things that you want him to give you? And, and I mean, this is anything from small things to big things. Like it's, I love how this topic came about because one of the people on my Facebook friends list is go see Neil and Neil sells cars and Neil talks to a lot of people all day long. And I said, Neil, give me a topic for tonight. And he goes, red car or white car? This is what I see most often, is couples who are trying to find, you know, like somebody wants a different color car and both are pulling in opposite directions. And, you know, it's, it's a common theme in relationships where one person wants one thing and the other person wants something else. Both are pulling from their ends and not coming in the middle and going to the other person's side. So ladies, how do you get him to come over to your side? Here's how you're gonna go about doing that. Again, thinking like a man means you have to be logical, single-minded, and in the moment. And you need to give what it is that you want to receive because you need to train them into that behavior. And in order to train them to do that, you have to model the behavior first. So here's what you're going to do. Those little things, you're going to give them up. The ones that really, it, you know, if it matters more to him than it does to you, you're going to give that up and you're going to let him have that. And you're going to say something that's going to stay in his mind that he's going to repeat down the road and then use when it's important to you. This is your script and you all know I'm big on the script when it comes to men because when you use the right words, that's when you really start getting the results that you're looking for. So here is your script. Well, I see this is important to you, so let's do it your way. Now what this does is it tells him, I see your understanding. This is important to you. You're understanding him. Let's do it your way well, I feel like a man. And you want him to feel good and you want him to feel manly because when men feel good, they feel generous. And this kind of behavior inciting this emotion in him is going to earn you brownie points. And these brownie points are going to accumulate and then you'll have opportunities to use them. And you're gonna use those words in an opposite way, sweetie. This is important to me. Do you think maybe this time we could do it my way? And because you've built up those brownie points in his head, because you've created that dialogue, because you've increased his generosity, then he's going to want to do it. Listen, ladies, a man who feels appreciative never lets that emotion go unrewarded. So if you can build up appreciation, if you can build up moments where he's going, wow, she understands me and she lets me have my way, and you can earn those brownie points and you can store them in his mind, those times when it really is important to you, 
you can lay it on the table. This is important to me. Do you think this time we can do it my way? And if you've done this with a man and you know, those times when it's not so important to you, instead of saying, well, it's not important to me, so go ahead. No, I see this is important to you. Let's do it your way. And if you do this over and over, and then the time when it really is important to you, he doesn't want to give you what it is that you need, give you what you want. There's a deeper issue here. But until you get to that place, let's just fix the place where you're pulling from opposite ends, waiting for the other person to come. And when you see it's important for him and it's a little bit more important than it is for you, let him have it his way. And then you can collect that brownie point when you really want it. So I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna have all the information below this so that you can come find me on all my social media platforms. If you have any questions, I really wanna hear them. I really want to address everything that you want to know about relationships so that I can help you get into the right relationship and I can help you make it work and not only make it work, I wanna help you make it magical. So thank you for logging on and I will see you soon.